Welcome to Genuine Core guys. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to implement the drag and drop communication mechanism for your Java FX application. The drag and drop can be used for communicating between two components in your application, just like these two texts, or between your application and an external application, just like this. Here, I'm going to drag and drop this GIF image to my application, and you can see that it is accepted in the in our JavaFX application. I'm going to uh, drag and drop this one or this one, and it's cool, right? So let's do the coding. And uh, I'm going to start the project, a new project from the new project section, and FXML, FX, FXML application, just like always. And I'm going to generate it. So this is a controller class. At first, I am going to edit the fxml file to add an image view. <clears throat> I am going to remove these two default generated components, a button and label, delete it. And I am going to increase the size of anger pane by a little bit. And I want an image view, so image view, increasing its size, okay. Then you can implement the drag and drop mechanism by making use of this function, the on drag detected, on drag done, etc. So uh, at first I'm going to give an identity, a variable name for the image view, that would be image view. And this drag detected method is used for dragging from a component. I mean, if you are dragging from this image to another component, then you have to use the on drag detector. But in our case, since we are dragging from another application to this application, we don't want to use the on drag detector. Instead, we will want to use the on drag over method. This on drag over method will be called whenever any data is dragged over this image view. So I'm going to create a method handle drag over. Let's go to the control set uh, part. I mean, generate the function right here. And I'm going to remove the generated comments. So that's fine. That is no longer, uh, we don't need this handle button action, etc. So, handle drag over. So, whenever an image or any kind of information is dragged over the image view, the drag over, handle drag over method will be called. So, what we will have to do is to make the image view ready to accept the incoming data. So, I'm going to give the tr uh, accept transfer mode method. And in that, I am going to add the transfer mode dot all. This or any. This will accept any kind of transfer mode. I mean, there there is copy operation, move operation, and link operation is available, and uh, we will accept any kind of transfer mode. So I am going to set the uh, uh, transfer mode uh, even dot accept transfer modes to any. And the next thing that we have to do is to we accept only the file if the incoming data is string we don't want it if the in incoming data is any kind of other information like an html file we don't want it so i'm going to give an if condition i mean even dot get dagboard dot has files and if it contains files, I mean, if the drag content is file only, then we are, are making the uh, image view ready to accept the file. So let's run the code. Now, when I drag an image over the area, you can see a plus symbol above the hand. That means it is ready for accepting the file. So that's it. Now our component is ready for accepting the dragger data and the next thing what we have to do is to on drag drop. This function will be called when the drop operation is done. I mean when the user drops something in the uh, image view. So handle drop, oh, uh, handle drop and I'm going to create a function here, make controller and handle drop. So when the user drop the data here, we will want the list of files and that can be done by using the get drag board and get
get files so this will return a list of files in our case we are expe expecting only one file at a time but this will support a list of files so list file files equals even dot get drag board dot get files and next thing what we have to create uh, what we have to do is to create an image from the file so image img equal new image creating a new file input stream file input stream and instead that we can give the files dot get zero so the first file will be taken and an image will be constructed this will throw a file not found exception i'm going to throw that so that's okay new file input stream file not found exception that's an admins problem i mean actually I have throw the thrown the file not found exception but still showing that error and then next thing we have to do is to set the image to the image view so image view dot set image and img now let's run the code and uh, from the image function i am going to add the image here and as you can see our image view is showing the dropped image so this is why happened this is what happened okay that's fine so uh, what we have seen is the communication between an external application and our application next let's see how we can implement communication between two internal components for that i'm going to add a text uh, which act as a source during the communication and i'm going to give it as the source and i am going to create another text for as the receiver let this be the target uh, this is the source i mean uh, i'm sorry this should be small and in the property section i am going to give the source string as the data and here let this be let this let it be destination destination so that's fine and uh, now we have to make this source string ready for dragging and this one ready for accepting the data so in the code section just like we discussed before we can use the on drag detected operation for copying the string during the drag operation so handle drag detection so i'm going to create that function here make controller and uh, handle drag detection here first i have to create a drag board object and db equal from the the drag board object is created from the uh, source i mean the source component so source dot start drag and drop so this will initialize the uh, dragging operation and here also the trans mode can be copy move and in my case i am going to use the any operation then next we in order to send data through this drag board we have to create a clipboard content so clipboard content cb equals new clipboard content and i am going to add a string using the put string method if you want to communicate or if you want to set send an image then you can send an image by putting that image using the put image function if you want to send some file between two in general components then you can use this put files and url using put url etc in this case let us use the put string method and i am going to take the string using source dot get text so now the uh, text on the source text is taken and put into the clipboard and now we have to associate this cb to this db and that can be done using db dot set content with the cb yes that's it and we have to consume the event so far so good now we have if we run the code you can see that when i click and drag on it i am getting the hand symbol that means the data is taken from the source string now what we have to do is to uh, make this destination ready for accepting the incoming string and that can be done pretty much similar to what we have done in the image view at first we have to use the uh, drag over method so handle um, text drag over 
okay then I'm going to create that function here make controller and in that controller we just like we did in this case we have to make it ready for accepting the data and uh, I'm going to copy and paste this code here instead of has files we will use the has string so the has string method checks whether the drag board contains any string I mean if we are dragging a file over the text area we want to discard is that's why we use the event case and the last thing that we have to do is to on drag drop it method this is where we actually accept the incoming data so handle handle text drop handle text drop I'm going to generate the function make controller so that's good and just like we have done here we can get the data using string str equals even dot get drag board we have given the data to a drag board and here we are accessing the data back get string okay string str then last thing we have to do is to set the destination string so the target dot set text str that's it let's run the code I'm going to drag the string so string so I got the hand symbol and here I got a plus symbol since it's ready for accepting either string and when I drop it it becomes the so string so that's it that's how you use the internal communication using drag and drop guys and some extra information is um, a, there are a number of but uh, uh, methods I mean on drag done on drag ended and drag exited method and this drag ended method will be called when someone drags a data into your component and this will be useful for giving some uh, UI I mean some kind of feedback to the user that the dragging is detected and etc and this is opposite to drag ended the drag exited method and on drag done means the dragging operation is completed so in the source string I'm going to override or implement the on drag done method so handle drag done this will be called when the dragging operation is completed so I'm going to create the function uh, it is not saved make controller so after the completion of the dragging operation suppose suppose we want to set the source string to uh, set text drag operation completed we can do that by setting that here now I'm going to drag it to here and as you can see drag operation completed in order to check whether the uh, communication was successful you can actually check whether they uh, check the data here I mean if it is source string if it was the previous string then the operation was failed so that's it guys that's how you implement the drag and drop operation in your Java FX application I hope you like the video like the video if you like it let me know your comments in the comment section and subscribe for more cool videos